In a significant step towards combating malaria, the Society for Family Health, SFH, is gearing up to distribute over 2.2 million mosquito nets and 2.5 million sulfur doxine perimethamine with Amodia Queen, Spark, in Kwara State. As part of the planning, the Director of Programs and Operations of the SFH GF Malaria Project, Mr. John Ocholi, organized a meeting with the Integrated Campaign Coordination Network, ICCN. During the meeting, Mr. Ocholi outlined the specific local government areas in Kwara State that will receive SPAC treatments for children aged 3 to 59 months and those designated to receive the insecticide treated net. It's about three different approaches. In one LG, Moro LG, we will have five days of door-to-door -door distribution of net card to households so that they can use the net card after some days and go to a fixed point to redeem their net card. They will use the net card and exchange it for a free net. In that same Moro, we will also have a team that will go together with the people giving net that any child they meet in those houses that is between 3 months and 59 months, they will give the children stack. It's a prophylaxis management of malaria where they give children medicine. But that medicine is to manage malaria. And we're not giving it to children that are sick already. If a child is already sick with malaria, they refer the child to the clinic for proper management. This one is to give them, to prevent them from having malaria. So that will happen in the world. Then in 10 other LGs, again, they will give them net immediately, they go to the house. And if they are children 3 months to 59, they will also give them that medicine, which is spark. In those 10 LGs. Now, in the remaining 5 LGs, the 5 LGs, we have uh, a record of uh, we seen for you and a kid. So in those 5 LGs, they are only going to give the people nets. They will not give children medicine in those five LG. And reason being that, based on the data available and the epidemiology of malaria in the state, those 11 LGs are the only place we are giving children that spark. In the other LGs, it's only nets that we are giving them. He also emphasized that the allocation of personnel to these local government areas was based on an analysis during the micro-planning conducted earlier in the year. The ICCN is made up of stakeholders from different ministries, religious and traditional organizations responsible for monitoring and coordinating the campaign activities. The ICCN is chaired by the Honorable Commissioner for Health, Kwara State, Dr. Amina Ahmed Elimam. Be you a member of the Ministry of Health, be you from any of the security outfits that are here, whether you are a partner from the federal ministry or from private partners, NGOs and other multinational bodies, whether you are from the press, you, you are a stakeholder and your presence and participation is highly necessary and your contributions can never be undervalued or underestimated. So that we can record the success that we all deserve considering the hard work we are putting to date. As reported by Quara State TV News, Dr. El Imam and Mr. Ocholi reiterated the approaches for this distribution in Kwara State. So these two programs used to run parallel sometimes. Now, in this integrated campaign, the partners and the governments have, have, uh, are piloting an integrated approach where the two programs will run in tandem concurrently. And we have three micro strategies for the implementation of this program. So we have five local governments with just net, one local government with net card and drugs, and then ten local governments with nets and drugs. The aim is to reduce malaria prevalence in Kwara State. So we have one team coming to do administration of SPAC for children under five, and the same team also looking at the number of people in the house to give them ITN. Uh, that way we are able to get efficiency. We're also able to ensure that we cover the state totally and properly, and we also have the data that we can use to plan for future endeavors. The plan is to kickstart the distribution of free insecticide treated nets on Thursday, October 19, 2023. The SFH commitment to malaria prevention in Kwara State stands as a reflection to SFH dedication to public health and its collaborative efforts with key stakeholders.